state. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> Told you. What is that? That is a double digit. Let's pass. go. That is 10 pounds right there, bro. That is 10 pounds. <laughs> I know. That, that was crazy, right? Like, I cannot believe when that fish jumped out of that water, dude. The mouth on this fish. I'm not kidding. Like, when I hit, when the fish hit, so I set the hook. I swing it because I never set the hook on a chatterbait. I swinged it, and it felt like this little bite. And, I, you know, I was, I was um, it put slack in the line. That's why it was weird. So I'm just like, all right, whatever. And I'm reeling it in. And you can see, I'm like, all right, it's a good one. I'm not saying it's huge. It's not big. Like, I, I, I didn't know the size of the fish. I didn't know the size of the fish until it came up and shook its head. I'm talking about, like, I never in my life have I seen a fish come out of the water that big. Like, I was losing my mind. So I thought I had already lost the fish since it came out of water. And it comes back down. And it's still, I can still feel the tension. So I'm like, all right, man, like I've seen this on film. I've seen people catch big fish like this. And I guess I just followed that same technique. I kept the rod tip low and I even put the rod tip all the way into the water to keep it from um, snapping. I don't know, it's just kind of like common sense. So I'm working it around the boat and honestly, I'm pretty confused. Chef is like telling me what to do, talking to me. And that's kind of what calmed me down because I didn't know what to do. I knew it was going to be the biggest fish of my life. I knew it was a 10. I really, I really did know it was a 10. I mean. I had my glasses on, you can't see it on the GoPro, but I could see how big this fish was the entire time I'm going around the boat. So we get it finally around the boat and Chef missed it a little bit and then he, um, I guess the fish was hooked so good, luckily that um, we still got into the boat and I'm just, <sighs> I haven't even been fishing officially for a year and I caught a 10 pound bass. Like. So chef goes, I just want you to know to be prepared for tomorrow to be our best day of fishing ever. I hope you're as excited as I am. You cannot make it up. So, um, <laughs> it was definitely a crazy experience, man. And I'm just so glad and I'm so thankful and humbled that I got the opportunity to catch that bass. So, um, you guys enjoy the film. I'm still in disbelief. That's probably why I seem a little off. It's just really freaking crazy how hard it is to catch a bass that big and actually get them in the boat and everything go um, very good and swim off and all that stuff so I really hope you guys like this content if you do like it please leave a comment like and subscribe please please like and subscribe thank you guys peace out oh yeah that is actually the what I was looking for this morning good old school fashion back glass <laughs> wow, okay, that's what we're doing today, huh? He's <laughs> miss missing it, bro. <laughs> ah, gotcha, sucker. Yeah. <laughs> Nice one. <laughs> and it is a good one too, bro. <laughs> Woo! And their teeth are razor sharp, bro. That guy. <laughs> Little tank, bro. Y'all saw how many times he hit that. <laughs> awesome. Let him go. I'd real. <laughs> it's actually unbelievable, dude. <laughs> Come <in. laughs> What in the world? Yep. Blue tank. You got that scale? Look at that. Good 
beautiful fish. Three five. So, yeah. <laughs> we're catching, we're catching donkeys, dude. <laughs> On that frog. Sorry about your carpet, bro. It's all good, dude. It's outdoor carpet. Ah. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. We had a minor problem. The person who designed this forgot to leave us room for the trolling motor. There's a little piece of wood right here, so there's not enough clearance for the trolling motor to connect right there. But my man, Chef, Rigged it up, bro. Move the battery to the front and get her done. Boom. <laughs> This might not be a good idea right now. The best way to catch them is when that tail gets stuck on your hook. They just come unglued. Doubled up, baby! Double dub, baby! Double dub, baby, let's go! Let's go, chef, get him in! Ooh, man. <laughs> nice! Doubled up, bro! Fucking awesome! <laughs> Jeez, bro. Oh, this is a little bigger! <laughs> Twins! Oh my gosh! Nice, graceful release. Yeah, dude, you shook <laughs> up. Come on. You, you're gonna get... Oh my god, he hammered it. Oh god. Let me get to the front. Watch out, watch out. Yep. Oh, there's another one falling. Throw that somebody right there. Throw it. There's another one falling. That's a good one. That's a good one. Keep them coming. There you go. Okay. Uh, but they're still falling out. There you go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Just keep him down. Keep him down. Yes. There you go. Keep him down. Keep him down. You got it.
got it. You got it. Bring him this way. Yes. Another good one, bro. That's a nice one, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, Woo! look at that trouble. Yeah. Ow, sir. There you go. Want to scale him? Yeah, let's scale him. He, he's probably four pounds. Four? Yeah. Five two. Three five two. Awesome. The bucket. What's up, Chef? Guys, we're having the best day of fishing <laughs> ever. I put it out in the universe and I said to myself today that we are gonna have Torrance and I, aka Pomboy, are gonna have the best day of fishing of our lives. And guys, check it out. This is what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. <laughs> Whoa! Delicious. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my god! Uh, it's a bull shad. Look at that. Money, dude. It's a Mike Boa. A Mike. This thing has been getting smacked, dude. A good fish, dude. Okay. Got him again. Is he big? Oh, yeah, he's a good one. Get in the boat! Turn on that yo Zuri! <laughs> Look at that donkey. Got that, yes sir. Crank baits is probably going yeah. Oh god Think they're too tight in there? There you, you go. You know me, bro. You know me when it comes to. Ah! Don't grab the line. Chef. This is PB right here, bro. Fuck it up. You got it, bro. You got it. Bro. Fuck. You got this, bro. You got it. Bring him over here. Bring him over here. Yeah, I'm coming. Chef. 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 
Chef. Chef, yeah. chef. Mouth, grab oh. the mouth. No, I know, dude. Uh, yes! What is that? What is that? <gasps> Told you. What is that? That is a fucking double digit Let's pass. go! That is 10 pounds right there, bro. That is 10 pounds, bro. That is a 10 pound bass, bro. Oh my God. Let me. Oh my God. Look at this. Pictures. Dude. Pictures. Oh, pictures. Bro. My, my hand is cramping. Oh my God. Oh. Dude, look at my hand. Dude, unbelievable, bro. Let me calm down. Oh God. Thank you, bro. This fish is so fucking big, dude. Your hand it's, it's on. It's on. Ten nine, bitch. Let's go. Ten nine. Ten. We gonna get a double. What did we say? We gonna get double. What did we say, son? We gonna go get double. What is that, baby? Woo! That is a ten pound bass. You gotta get some water. You're right. You know it's right now. <sighs> Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, bro. What is that, baby? That is a donkey, bro. On camera, all on footage. Hold on. Chatterbait. Tell me again. Chatterbait all on footage, bro. That is an absolute tank, dude. Unbelievable. Ten pounds. Um, Big. Hold him up again. Let's take another picture. Oh, God. Move him down a little bit so I can see your face. Awesome, dude. I get this on my... I got to have it, dude. I got to look at this all day, dude. Pictures. Oh, my. Let's get on a knee. Alright. Okay, let's put him in there. Hold on. I want, I want you to get a picture of me. We fucking dude, all those other bass are dwarfed. Chef. Oh. Ten pounds, bro. Ten pounds. Let me tell you how today started. Everything was good, everything was smooth until we got to the first until we got to the first pond. First pond was good. We were on top water and then we just ended up having boat problems, wind problems, every problem you can think of. We put the boat back on the trailer and the trailer messes up. The boat's leaning sideways. Chef's thinking about calling it. I'm thinking about calling it. And we just say, you know, whatever, dude. Let's hit one more pond. Let's just make it happen. We're just gonna walk the bank. We end up coming over here. We see this nice little boat Bass on tracker. Bass Tracker, dude, that Chef got us on. And we ended up getting on this boat because our boat didn't work. So we get on this boat and we start smacking them, dude. Right Chef is big on energy, being positive. I think that's why me and Chef really do get along. And um, we came out here. We just said, fuck it, we're gonna be as positive as we can. We start catching big fish, dude. I mean, look at the live well. Full of beautiful fish. And, that, and that's just the ones that we thought were decent. That's just the ones we thought were decent. So, I th and Chef goes, okay, man, we're gonna catch a double digit bass today. Specifically, he says, I'm gonna catch a double digit uh, bass today. And, we came out and we caught a double digit, dude. It was a fight of my life. Chef knew it was a 10. I knew it was a 10. As from, from, as soon up. as we pulled it up, dude. Chef it. called the numbers. And Man. it was uh, just it was just an like, amazing look at, time. Look, I got goosebumps. <laughs> look, I got goosebumps, y'all. <laughs> so I'd like to say thank you. This was a big goal. Perfect timing. This was this was a dream, dude. This was a dream. 10 pound bass. And we caught it, dude. Now it's time to put Chef on one. We're gonna spend a couple more hours out here and see what we can do.
how you want to do it. Alright, there it is. Fucking bass right there, dude. Video? What? That's not a bass. Video? Perch. Video? That's the most bass I've ever held in my hand.